Welcome to Research Talk. We are in the process of understanding reliability. As you know, in the previous video, we talked about what is reliability. Reliability is about consistency of a measurement tool. And it, this could be anything. It could be a scale, a questionnaire, a test, or uh, an experiment that I'm doing. So the consistency of those measurements, that is called reliability of, uh, in, in research. So there are various types of reliabilities and various ways to measure reliability. In this video, we are gonna learn a very popular ways of ensuring reliability, measuring reliability. And that method is called test retest reliability. So to measure consistency of an instrument, a test, a scale, a questionnaire, what we do, we give the test to a group of people or maybe one individual. And then after certain gaps, after some time, we give the same test to the same participant. And then we compare how similar are the results. So let's say if I give a, a student, let's say a test on, let's say, anxiety. So I give this test which measures anxiety of people to a student and I got certain scores. So let's say the, on this scale, the person scores out of 100, this person scored, let's say, 60. Now, I give the same test, same scale, anxiety scale, to the same student, let's say after a gap of a week. And then let's say the score which came out, let's say it's uh, 20. Now, a week before, same test, same student, 60 out of 100. A week later, 20 out of 100. No intervention, same student, just a gap of a week. Now, do you think this test is reliable? Do you think this test is consistent? It is not. It doesn't make sense. Like, how could, without any intervention, same student a week before scored 60 on this scale, and then a week later, 20, it doesn't make sense. So this, this test is not reliable. Let's take same example. Let's say a student, instead of um, scoring 60 on this scale, let's say this, this student scored uh, 70 out of 100. And then a week later, same student scored 71 out of 100. Now, what do you think this time? It's pretty close, right? So we could say this test is more consistent. So that's what test retest reliability is. We give, if we want to measure the reliability of a test, a scale, we give this test to a group of people or individual and then we give the same test after some time gap. Could be a week, could be two weeks, could be maybe a couple of days. And then we measure. If the scores are closer in both cases, then this test has high reliability. And if there is a huge difference, then this, this, this uh, is not reliable. And to calculate reliability, test, retest reliability, we use a, a, a a statistical process which is called correlation. So we do establish correlation between both these scores. What is correlation between these between these scores? The higher the correlation, the higher reliability. Lower the correlation, lower reliability. So in simple words, 
test or retest reliability is a way to measure reliability of a instrument that measures any construct and the higher the correlation between the test after certain intervals the higher the reliability the lower the the correlation the lower reliability generally in a statistical term if it's, if a test has any where between i would say 0.85 and higher a score of correlation it is called reliable so that's briefly about test retest reliability which is used to measure reliability of an instrument or any measurement tool thank you